We'll see how he kicks off here. He's hurting. Novak gets this one just a yard into the end zone, so Marquise Lee will take it out. And ahead of Steve, Marquise Lee has room down the sideline. Marquise Lee at the 20. Lee will go 100 yards. A late flag comes in after Lee had taken it in the end zone. Marquise Lee, assuming it stands with his first kick return touchdown in his career. This may be on Jacksonville's bench. Larry Izzo, the special teams captain for the Texans. Jaguars had gone 149 games since their last kick return touchdown, 2007. What happens? The bench area is you're running by, and your team breaks a big when everybody comes out and goes crazy in the bench area, and they get into the Unsportsmanlike area. Unsportsmanlike conduct by Jacksonville, number 11. The touchdown, however, does count, and that 15 yards will be enforced on the kickoff. That is also an unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the type that qualifies as a potential disqualification if a second one occurs from that player. This must have happened after the thing, after the uh, touchdown. But watch as this opens up, well blocked, and he's got great help right out in front by yep. Aurelius Ben, who holds him off. And that right there, the point—that's yep. what it was when he pointed your opponent. Patterson will bring it out. Full head of steam. He's gone. Patterson. What a start to the half. Touchdown, Minnesota. Special teams. A score for the Vikings. Time you get the ball, you got to make the block. The first one right here to at least give him a chance to spring it. They pick off Patrick Peterson on the outside as well. And then you're one on one. And at some point, as a return man, you got to make somebody miss. And Cordell Patterson does just that. Once he gets ahead of steam, there's no catching him. Now you get a kickoff return touchdown. Harris. He'd like to sting his former team. Dwayne Harris, the former Cowboy. No flags. Touchdown. 100 yards. see two key blocks one on Kyle Wilbur here and then McRae he cuts back to the left side and you see the hole then that opens up an outstanding job of creating a lane in the middle advantage in the numbers game in the run game as well but this right here looks like old-fashioned downhill football yeah three tight ends and the fullback Hillman cuts it inside gets in the end zone but the ball came out did he cross the plane of the goal line? No, he didn't as the Seahawks have recovered. And there's your guy again, Brandon Browner. Another big play. No flags. Palmer sits in. Pass picked off. Intercepted by Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes down the sideline and good by touchdown Vikings. No flags.
he'll turn a game around. There's two on one on the outside, and Xavier Rhodes, he's playing outside and just a miscommunication right here. With what the receiver was doing, I believe that was John Brown, and just really nowhere to put that ball. And, and Xavier Rhodes, who there was question marks as to whether or not he'd even be playing today. He got a concussion in that game last week, but he makes a huge play, and the Cardinal fans have seen that before. Thinking back to the Eagles, and later on it was Lombardi bringing him out to the Raiders. Jim Harbaugh, that is. And this could be a run back from nine deep for Jacoby Jones. And look at him go. Jones is past the 50, and he is flying inside the 20. And a kickoff return, 109 yards and a touchdown. An all-time record. There have been 108 yard returns in league history, never 109, and what a way to bolt right out of the locker room to start the second half. I, you know, Jim, both you and I could not believe he was bringing it out of the end zone that deep. It was a line drive kick. I think that's what he did. He gazed it that it was that way that gave him a chance to bring it out. Chandler and Keyshawn Mike and Brady. Intercepted and that's Malcolm Jenkins on his feet to the 20, the 25, crossing midfield. Malcolm Jenkins will go the distance for a touchdown. No penalty flags on the field. And don't look now. The Eagles lead for the first time in this game. Momentum swing after momentum swing in this game. Unbelievable. That's what happens on the defensive side when you're relentless and you keep attacking the ball, you keep running and making things happen. So, so take a look here. This is Amendola going to run the route into the into the teeth of the defense. And Brady tried to thread it through. Double coverage. I think that ball was tipped by Walter Thurman, number 26. Two seconds. Well, they can pick down here. From the gun, Steelers show blitz. Here they come. He gets it away and it's picked off at the goal line. There's a flag thrown on the run back, James Harrison, to run it back. And Harrison is past midfield. Harrison going down the sideline. Harrison still on his feet. Harrison is going to go all the way and waiting for the official to get there. Touchdown is signal. A flag is down on the run back, back at the nine yard line. the pass, personal foul, grasping the face mask, offense number 74. The foul occurred during the last time down. The touchdown counts. Unbelievable. Harrison completely gassed. The call is on Reggie Wells. It's a 100-yard interception return. Look at him. Do you know that you have to protect against James Harrison because he's such a great pass rusher? On that play, he faked like he was going to rush the passer, and he dropped back into the lane and then made this run unbelievable. It's the longest play in Super Bowl history. It's a 100-yard interception return. The question, too, is, is he in? Remember, there's no challenge. There's no challenge. It has to come from the booth. Wow, and they will look at it. I guarantee you that the clock has expired. Here's Fitzgerald. He's coming in. Where does he land? He's landing on Fitzgerald's leg with the ball. Reston comes back in. Not only a great play by James Harrison, but a great call by Dick LeBeau because who would think in that situation that instead of rushing your best pass the previous rusher, play you would drop will be with you. 